Hi Aries, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button and thank y'all for y'all subscriptions. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Welcome to New Kid on the Block Tarot. And today we're gonna be doing a who's coming towards you in the next 72 hours and what the fuck do they want reading. And then we also gonna be doing a yes or no question at the end of the reading too. So go ahead and relax, smoke, drink, drink your water, juice, do whatever you need to do. We're gonna go ahead and get your reading started and see who's coming towards you in the next 72 hours or who's considering coming towards you. Who's coming to us Aries in the next 72 hours? Somebody's coming. This is somebody coming towards you that you don't have any feelings for. You been released yourself from this situation because this person was a liar. You have been knew this person was a, wasn't a soulmate for you. So this could have been a friend for some of y'all. This could be somebody that you was never sleeping with, never attracted to. You could have grew up in the same church as this person, or you could have just been around them because y'all was friends of the family or y'all knew each other for a long time. But you never felt like this person was somebody that was meant for you or never felt like somebody. this was somebody that was safe to love. This is somebody you were never even with. And I don't even think you were sleeping with this person for half y'all. Well, what the fuck do they want? <laughs> what this person want with y'all, Aries? Shit, what they was lying to you for? This person could have been lying to you about um, wanting the best for you. This could be somebody that played like they wanted to see you happy and they really didn't. Okay, tell me more about this person. This, this could be somebody you work with for a lot of y'all, but you don't talk to them on a regular. Could be a female. The number 37 could be important or the number 12. Somebody's birthday could be in December. Maybe I have a December cross, cross watcher. Um, number 21 could be important or October. This could be somebody in your family This could be somebody in your family that you really don't deal with like that. Every time this person reach out to you, you walk away from this person or you move away from them. Yeah, because you feel like every time they reach out to you, it's gonna be nothing but bullshit. This is somebody you really don't deal with like that. For some of y'all, this person could, could have been going through some type of court situation and they lost the court situation that they were going through. But that's not for everybody, though. For some of y'all, this person could be letting you know that that they lost some type of court situation and they don't have any money. This person don't care if you think they're a good person or not, y'all. They don't care if you like them or not. They don't care if you fuck with them or not, but they know you got money and they know that they not working. <laughs> They know you got what they need, okay? They don't give a fuck if you fuck with them or not. They know you got something to offer. This person has not changed, but they still not going on. Um, for some of y'all, this could be a male that's doing this. But this person is a real bad liar. And it's not, I don't think it's somebody that you're romantically involved with. It could be somebody in your family. Or it could be a friend or a coworker for some of y'all. Some of y'all, this person could just be trying to alert you about some type of news that they receive. What is this person? Who is this person? Tell me more about them. Ooh. Damn. Um, <laughs> Spirit let me fucking know. Look, make sure you let them know. This is not a fucking soulmate. This is not a motherfucker they was fucking around with. So that's confirmation. Like this is not somebody that you fuck with like that. You talk to this person every blue moon. 
every blue moon, but you do not work on relationships with them. You don't, you don't want to fuck with them like that because you already know this person is somebody that's not changing. They're the same motherfucker they've been. They always been. Damn. <laughs> they like, hold on. Let Make sure you tell Aries this is not somebody that you they fuck with like that. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, you don't think about this person. You don't think about this person. You don't reminisce on this person. You pray for them. You hope they good. You know, you hope they have good news in their life. You hope everything is going well for them. But you don't fuck with them. You don't You don't give this person no type of play, no type of conversation, no type of time, no type of talk. But you're going to deal with it in the next 72 hours. You're like, okay, I don't fuck with you, but I, I, I'll play your game. I'll talk to you. What's up? I'll tell you how I really feel. If you want to talk, if you want me to talk to you because I don't, you feel like I don't give you no attention, I'm going to play into it, but I'm going to let your ass have it. I'm going to tell you why I really don't fuck with you. And you're not going to say it in a mean way. You're just going to let this person know, like, why you don't be around them. Mm. What does this person want from Aries? Okay. They want to heal the relationship. They want to figure out the real reason behind why you don't talk to them. And they really want to try to heal it if they can. This could literally be somebody that it could be like us. For some of y'all, this could be like a um, maybe a sibling of yours, or just a family member, somebody that you were close to, somebody that you went through a lot with, maybe in the past, maybe somebody you grew up with. But this person kept drowning and you decided to do something with your life. This person feel like you ungrateful and they don't want to let they don't want you to let them go. They feel like they don't know what's going on in your life no more. They feel like it's a lot of good happening for you, a lot of good coming towards you. And you're not even recognizing the fact that they that they're losing feelings for you. For some for some of y'all, this person could have isolated themselves from you and they wanted you to care about why they stopped coming around you and you didn't you didn't try to figure out what was going on so this person wants you to talk to them they want to figure out why you're not dealing with them they want you to trust them again if you ever trusted them no, this person, for some of y'all, this person feel like they can play on your intelligence. They feel like they can get you to trust them again because you're such a free-spirited person. They feel like you're so innocent and you're not going to see it coming or you're not going to pay attention to the fact that they really just need you in some type of way. What's the advice for, um, what's the advice for Aries? Let me get some tarot. Let me get one tarot card for you. No, two, I guess. <laughs> some of y'all, this could be an Aquarius. This person see you closing out a cycle with them. They see that you no longer feeding into their bullshit. So they feel like you hiding something. They feel like you must have something to hide if you're not really feeding into their bullshit no more. Like if you don't believe them the same way. They just don't understand what... What the fuck made Aries so strong? <laughs> what the fuck made them get over me? You know? For some of y'all, this could be someone that was, um, they just got out of jail or they were in, you know, some type of mental confusion. But they could just be coming out of that confusion. Even if they weren't in jail, they could. this, this could just be somebody that's coming out of some type of confusion. But they're still hiding something from you at the same time. They know that you value family over anything. So they just want you to 
try to see shit from their point of view. They know you're not going to deal with them, though. They already know it. They feel it. Because this person tried over and over again to repair a relationship with you and it's just not working. Yeah. Okay. What's the advice for um, Pisces? I mean, ooh, I called y'all Pisces. I'm sorry. Aries. What's the advice for Aries? I'm like, wait. Who am I, Aries? What, what is this? My bad. Aries, don't pretend like you don't know when something is draining you more than it is filling you. You already know what's going on with the situation. You see things for what it is. Somebody could be 24 years old. The number seven could be important. Something could have happened in July. Somebody's birthday could be on the 24th of the month or someone could be 44 years old. But you know that this person is not... For some of y'all, you see this person as somebody that's empty anyway. You feel like they don't know a lot. And you feel like it's things that you can teach this person, but they're not curious enough to learn anything. But for some of y'all, it's just, if you know something, don't leave yourself blinded, okay? If you know the truth about something, then that's just what it is. Don't tell yourself that it's not real. Because if a situation leaves you feeling like you have nothing left to give then that means you you need you don't need to give to it you need to stay away from it that's what i got for y'all and we're gonna go ahead and get y'all um yes or no question ready yeah i got y'all question Give me a yes or no question for Aries. Y'all got two. Y'all ask two questions? No. N to the O. Whatever you asking, it's a hell no. I'm just playing. It's just a no. We got two no's. No way. Okay. Thank you so much for y'all time. Aries, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.